Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the photo frames that you can purchase from projectwoman.com in PaintShop Pro X5 to frame your images. Before we get started, let's have a look and see what it is that we're talking about. This is the frames page at projectwoman.com and we have a number of frame sets available on that page. You just click to buy them and then download them immediately to your computer. And what I'm going to do in this video tutorial is show you how you can use these frames in PaintShop Pro to create frames for your images. So I have downloaded one of the frames and I've chosen one of the rectangular frames here and they're all delivered as PNG files so that they have this transparency in the middle and that's where you're going to place your photo. And I've also opened the image that I want to use to frame. So with this, I'm going to first make sure that I have the Layers palette open and if it's not visible, choose View and then Palettes and then Layers because you want to be able to see your Layers palette. And I like to operate with my images loose like this because it just makes it a whole lot easier to drag and drop things into position. So I'm going to target this image here and you can see its background layer is here and I'm just going to grab hold of it and drag it and drop it into the frame image. So when I let go of the mouse, the image is going to appear in place and now I can just close down that image as so I don't need it any longer. And in the layers palette, you can see we have two layers, the original framed image and the picture that's going in the frame. And right now the picture's on top of the frame, but that's fine because I'm going to click the pick tool here, which shares a toolbar position with the move tool, but it's pick that we want. And with the pick tool, I'm going to click on this image layer and I can move it using the pick tool. And what I want to do is to size it into the approximate size that I need to put inside this frame. So I'm just going to drag on its corner and as soon as I start dragging on the corner I'm going to add the shift key. And if I add the shift key it's going to be resized in proportion so I'm not going to lose the proportion of the image. And I just want to drag it until it is large enough to fill the gap and I've taken it too small. So again, I'm going to start dragging and add shift to just size it up a little bit more. I want to cover the gap in the middle of the frame. And having done that, I'll now go to the layer palette and drag this raster layer at the top below the frame. And when I do, the image just appears in the frame. It's as easy as that. And now, of course, with the pick tool still selected, I can now position her face inside the frame. I just want to be careful that I don't pull it over too far so that I get a transparent area behind. I want to make sure that her image is well inside that frame. Now if you wanted to, you can also add a color border around the frame and I'm going to show you how you can do that. We're going to target the frame layer here, so I'm going to make sure I have it selected. And for this purpose, I'm going to sample a color from the image and I think I'll sample a color from her lips. So I'm just going to get a nice sort of pink color that will be flattering and that will match the photo. So I've selected the color, but right now I don't have a color selected. So I'm just going to click off transparent so that the color is now in the foreground. Now let's go and select this area around the edge of the image, which I'll do using the magic wand tool. I'm just going to click in this area. I want contiguous to be turned on because I just want to pick up the outside edge in this case. So I'll click here and we've selected the outside edge of the image and I'm going to grab the paint bucket tool here and just left click in this selected area and that floods it with the color that I had selected. And then we'll go selections, select none and we have our image nicely framed and I can just go ahead and save that image. So that's how you use the projectwoman.com frames to frame your images. All of them are supplied with transparent middles and they all work in a similar way. 
I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials on this YouTube channel and visit my website at projectwoman.com for more things that you can download and use with PaintShop Pro as well as tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications.